I'm back. So my work relief is still not here. So I decided to tell you guys another story about something I'm like currently kind of irritated about. Um, one thing I cannot stand is people who get like animals and pets just to like mistreat them or not care for them properly. Um, I think it's really sick. So I'm kind of, I'm like very upset because my Akira, my puppy, she's sick again. So I just want to tell you guys her story, just vent a little bit. Um, so I've been doing, you know, animal rescue for, I don't know, like 12 years, something like that. Um, and I had a dog, my first dog of 13 years. I got her from the Humane Society. Um, and she ended up getting really sick and she died last October, 2021. So little did I know that same uh, week in October, my current dog, Akira, was born. So when I was a kid, I used to be like absolutely obsessed with Lassie, like the black and white Lassie show from like, I don't know, probably like the 80s or something. I was obsessed. I'd get up at like five o'clock, four o'clock in the morning every day just to watch Lassie. Um, I had like an imaginary dog at the time, like named Lassie. Like I was really obsessed, y'all. So I always told myself that when I got to be an adult, I was going to get me a collie. So I've always really worked with bully breeds just because that's always like what I came across that was a need. Um, but I am disabled and I had been thinking for a long time about getting a service dog. So I had decided that I might want to get a Border Collie service dog. And the reason I wanted a Border Collie um, was really because, I don't know, it was something about the hair of the Rough Collie that I just really didn't like. I don't know. So I wanted a Border Collie mix. So anyways, my dog died and I wasn't looking for I wasn't looking for a dog but I was just really lonely so I was just kind of like looking just to keep my options open so I was looking for border collie mixes um, because border collies are like stupid expensive so I'm like all right I'm gonna give me a little mix wasn't finding one anywhere so then I come across this Craigslist post um, up in Gladwin Michigan you know they drive horse and carriages instead of cars there I was going around horses and carriages in my car. It was so weird. Um, it's like Amish country out there. So I came across this post with these tiny little puppies like, oop, sorry, my dog is being hyper. But um, these tiny little puppies living outside and it just didn't look like a good situation. And the puppies were like, I don't know, it was like $250. I'm like, and it was a three hour drive. So at that point, I wasn't compelled to go to actually purchase a puppy for myself. Um, I was actually compelled to go because I was worried about like the state of the puppies. And I wanted to just, you know, I just wanted, I felt really compelled to see these puppies and just make sure that they were okay. So. I set up a me. I seen I seen the ad online. Okay, wait. Let me fast forward. I mean, let me rewind because I missed an important part. Um, I have to sneeze. One moment. Dang. I guess it's not coming. It'll come back. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so I go to Gladwin to see these puppies and it was like some real shady stuff like they met me on the side of the road and they had the puppies um in a box just like rolling around this pickup truck as they're driving tiny little puppies so they they were all black and white you know uh perfect little border collie markings except for one who looked more like a german shepherd had like the shepherd markings the black and the brown um the black and the brown puppy smelled really bad like it, she smelled terrible she looked terrible like you could just tell in her eyes she was just sick so i decided to take the sickest one because i knew that you know she she needed some vet attention and she knew she was for me because I walked away 
to go like grab the money from my car and she like started crying from the box um like she wanted me to come back and ultimately these puppies hadn't they had had no human contact she was actually terrified of me um and she was five weeks old she wasn't even like walking straight up correctly yet she was still kind of doing this little crawling thing terrified of people um I got her to the vet the next day and she had multiple infections. That first week I spent um, over $700 on vet bills the first week. The first couple of months, I'm not even going to tell you how much I spent on vet bills. But the point is, is there's no reason for little baby puppies to be infested with bugs. There's no reason for little baby puppies to have anal gland infections, ear infections, eye infections. If you're not going to take care of an animal, do not have one. If you can't take care of a pet, don't get one. If you don't want to take care of a pet, don't get one. But don't get them just to breed them and send them off like sickly in any situation. So now Akira is sick um, again because she has another infection. That's her. Kira. You can't tell because she's in such good spirits. But um, this is like maybe her fifth anal gland infection. Maybe fifth, yeah. And she's only, she just turned eight months. Um, I had her since she was about six weeks, five to six weeks. So I'm just upset because I got to take her to the vet tomorrow. I know she's going to be hurting again. Have to put on meds. It's like a whole process. So the bottom line is, y'all, take care of your pets or do not get any. Like, because this is just sick. And the animals, they deserve so much better. Animals are so much better to us than we are to each other. Like, we don't even deserve them. So if you're going to get one, treat them right. Love them. I know I love my baby. I don't care that she's sick. I love her. And I'm glad that I have her. Um, and I really feel like she was meant for me. You know, she was born the same same time that I lost my baby. And it's just signs, I guess. But <clears throat> if you have an awesome pet story, I want to hear about it. Let me hear about your fur babies. Um, you can hit me on social media. Um, poetic underscore justice 2009 is my Instagram and I look forward to sharing another story with y'all soon